A convicted sex offender will spend a minimum of 14 years behind bars. Stephen McCandless was convicted on two counts of taking, including taking indecent liberties with a child. News 13's Cheryl Barber joins us live at the Buncombe County Courthouse with our continuing coverage. Cheryl, you talked with the victim's sisters. How is the little girl doing? Well, her sisters say she's still trying to recover from the shock that she felt in 2011. But she's finding some comfort that McCandless will stay behind bars until she's 23 years old. She's relieved. She's relieved. She can step outside on the porch and play for a few minutes like a normal child. Two sisters talk about the healing they see in their younger sister, now nine years old. She's trying to get back into a routine of her independence. It's hard, but it's a slow process. We're withholding their identities to protect the victim. Today, she witnessed the judge sentence Stephen McCandless to a minimum of 14 years and a maximum of 18 years in prison. Her sisters say McCandless' actions have deeply affected her. She doesn't do regular stuff kids do because of it. Same with field trips. She doesn't want to go on school field trips unless she has one of us with her. McCandless was convicted of picking up the seven-year-old child and touching her inappropriately at a Salvation Army store in Asheville. She was with her sister that day who says she'll never forget what he did. I panicked. I started screaming and yelling, and next thing I know, he gets up and he starts running away. And I chased him. I chased him all the way out to his truck with my son in my arms. The judge would not permit cameras in court. The judge heard McCandless' sister and his psychologist in the sentencing hearing. But McCandless showed no emotion as the judge read the sentence. McCandless' attorney says an appeal is possible. The victim's sisters say they don't think the courts will allow it. I'm satisfied to the fact that no other child will be har harmed, no other child will be endangered by this man. Attorney says he will appeal the sentence and request the judge to set a bond for McCandless. No date for those proceedings have been set. Reporting live in Asheville, I'm Cheryl Barber, News 13.